Have you ever wanted to jump on a big fancy ship and be welcomed by dancers and drums? Well, that's exactly what we're doing on Windstar's Star Breeze in Tahiti. And this cruise is extra special. We're celebrating Terry's birthday and we're kicking off with all kinds of fun surprises. Have you ever wanted to know what it is to experience a luxury cruise line? We're going to show you exactly that. I'm Addie, and welcome to the Windstar Star Breeze. So here we are in Papiete, Tahiti, getting ready to step onto the Star Breeze. And as soon as we get here, we're welcomed by music and flowers and a big happy crew. This isn't just any welcome. It feels like a party just for us. From the very first step, you can feel something special. Like this is more than just a cruise. It's like the whole island is celebrating with us. Our room is just perfect. We've got big windows to see the ocean and a comfy setup that makes it feel like we're our little home at sea. Welcome aboard the Windstar Star Breeze for a fabulous cabin review, okay? Let's get started first. We're in cabin 413, a deluxe ocean view cabin. And we'll tell you everything that is perfect so far about this luxury cruise. It's a walk-in. <laughs> How cool is that? We got robes over here, perfect for using and available for purchase if you want. We got our life jackets up here stowed away so it doesn't take up space. Plenty of hangers, even some frou-frou hangers. And then we got lots of space here on the side, lots of shelving. The safe is over here as well. Looks big enough for laptops. The second drawer, they give you plenty of laundry bags that are the cloth ones and two more drawers that can lock. Plus, overhead hooks and more hanging all the way around. This bathroom, I took a sneak peek earlier, but y'all, this bathroom is probably the best bathroom I've ever seen. His and hers sinks. Have you ever been on a cruise with a double vanity? Beautiful, beautiful sinks with gorgeous, gorgeous soft uh, hardware. We've got glasses up here and lots of tan products, but I'm loving it. Lots of storage underneath. So Terry can have his side of stuff <laughs> and I can have my side of stuff. This is definitely a Terry-approved toilet. <laughs> yeah. No knees hitting anywhere. And then this is definitely an Addy-approved shower. Loving this bathroom. For to be on a cruise, that's a huge bathroom. All right. The bed. Both sides have drawers and storage. No outlets though. This has our hair dryer that won't really be getting used, but lots of storage on all of the places here at the desk. Regular outlet and an international outlet. We never had this unless we were on Disney. And I think this is something that is totally cool because when I sleep, I like a jet black dark. Terry likes it a little light. So if he wakes up before me, No more light. The pièce de résistance, and probably our most favorite thing about this cabin, <laughs> is how well stocked it is. Okay, let me start at the top with glassware. We have a decanter for wine. They give you all the other glasses, so wine, or excuse me, champagne, columns, and rocks. Awesome. Ice already in the room. Water already in the cabin. Love ships that give you water. These pull out so you have space to make your cocktail. Cabin comes with a corkscrew. Love that. And then we have this mini bar, which is included. What you working with? What you working with? What you working with? They restock this every night because if you have the all in with Windstar, this is included. We have a comfy sofa. They have provided us with a bottle of red wine and some chocolate covered strawberries. And this gets replenished daily too. It's a bowl of fresh fruit. They even got the little bitty bananas because we're in Tahiti. How cute is that? We have mobile TV, so it does twist and turn and pull out. 
So if you're over here sitting on the sofa, you can watch TV. Or if you're lazy like me and want to be in the bed, you can watch TV in the bed. More areas to work at and more storage underneath. I also like, because not everybody needs a balcony. This will look better much where I at sea. But I do love the window seat because sometimes that's all you really need, don't you think? If you have never sailed with Windstar or if you have sailed on a luxury cruise line before, let us know in the comments and we'll see you around the ship. Have a good one. And it's not just the room that's cool. Everywhere on this ship feels warm and welcoming. They even have a big buffet with tons of yummy food. This is definitely a place to be. Cold cuts and toppings for salads. More options, mixed veggies, burger sliders, charging station, yum. Options for cheese boards. More options for dessert. As night falls, we all head up to the deck for one of the coolest parts, the nighttime sail away and flag ceremony. It's like the ship's own special way of saying goodbye to land as we head out to sea. Watching the flag go up as the ship starts moving feels magical. We're off on a real adventure and you can just tell this journey is going to be amazing. And just wait, because tomorrow we're off to explore Morea for Terry's birthday. Let's see what this island has in store for us. We have officially sailed away. Yes. <laughs> so it has begun. The beginning of our adventure, seven days in Tahiti. And of course, ceremonial first cocktail of cruise. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. Good morning from Maria. It's Terry's birthday. And today we're going on a photography tour to capture all the beautiful sights on the island. Everywhere we look is like a postcard. Terry's loving every minute of it, capturing the island with his camera. Like this. So like that, we don't have all the people on the water and we conserve just the different um, blue lagoon and just the different texture. We follow the line and we stop to the second mountain, just like this. But like this, because I put one side of mountain this way and one on the other side, you can see we have like a frame and here's a good balance. Yes. So, Baby. So, for these spaces, we call it the Queen Morea or the Queen Tahiti, and it's endemic. So, so we're still on a photography tour, and we just got to one of the most popular lookouts in the island. It's called Belvedere Point. Wait till you guys see this. After a big day, we're back on board for our birthday dinner with Terry. With Maria's mountains in the background, this is the perfect ending to an unforgettable day. From the dancers to the sail away to a whole day in Maria, this has been one amazing start to our trip and it's just the beginning. As we celebrate this wonderful day, we know there's even more coming up. Tomorrow, we're off to Rayatea and Motu Mahia. Who knows what we're gonna see there? Today was so much fun and we're only getting started. Stick around for part two if you want to see more of Tahiti with us. Make sure you hit subscribe because this adventure is far from over. See you soon.